Good evening and Namaskar, Kolkata. Wish you all a happy Gandhi Jayanti too. What a great pleasure to be in your city on this day of Gandhi Jayanti. It is because Mahatma Gandhi always stood for goals like Sodeshi initiatives, which are meant to improve our country's national self-sufficiency. And at our startup, Avanga Innovations, this is similar to what we try to do by developing technologies indigenously in India, which then has gone on to attract a global market interest. This shows that the great Mahatma's ideals, concepts, messages are relevant even today. It can be practiced even by our young generation of today and also our future generations. So I thank the organizers for having us invited to this event on this very special day. We began last year as a small startup just with a two-member team, working out of our own house without even an office. And our story is in certain ways similar to that of the now famous innovator and entrepreneur from Malawi, Africa, Mr. William Kam Kawambea, about whom many of you would have already been uh, familiar with. William, when faced with electricity shortages and life hardships, took inspiration from a local library where he could learn how to build windmills. That was a very rudimentary design of a windmill. He made that from scrap metals, bicycle wheels, plastics, and so forth. If William would have taken that design to a, an expert, he would have been laughed off as if it was some kind of joke. But he went on and went on to do what he wanted to accomplish. And today, Look at Mr. William on what's the heights he has reached, on what all initiatives that he is doing for renewable energy, waste management at his homeland in Africa. We too had a very similar experience when we first took our technology proposal to one of the leading engineering colleges in our city. But we were discouraged, uh, and that didn't let us stop from what we wanted to achieve. The interesting part is that today, the same engineering college, well, this happened after we got recognized by UNIDO as one of the top 20 clean tech innovations in India. And when this happened, the same engineering college is now, has given that proposal, the technology that we have Post to them as a, 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 a study project to their mechanical engineering students in their college. William wasn't an engineer, and neither are we. But we all have in us something bigger and much greater that if and when tapped into can open us a vast, amazing world of opportunities and possibilities. The key is to think out of the box, beyond textbook prescriptions and existing theories. It is about this that I wish to briefly touch upon on my talk today. In fact, what I want to talk about has been written in our ancient Vedic scriptures thousands of years ago itself. Many of you must have already heard about it, although unfortunately not many of us practice it in our lives. To me, it is one of the most valuable, the most golden wisdom found in our ancient Vedas. It is known as Aham Brahmasmi. Many of you may already know what it means. It means that the wisdom of the entire universe lies within yourselves. Within each of all human beings who ever lived in our past, within each of all human beings who are alive today, and amongst all those who are going to take birth in our future world. But the question is, how many of you look into yourselves to gain that wisdom? The word Avanga, as many of you would know, is a French origin word that means pioneering, state-of-the-art, cutting-edge, or those who are in the forefront of things. 
Our startup is a clean tech-focused company, which is now into distributed renewable energy solutions and few other unique technologies like piece electricity and wireless energy transmissions that are being designed for the future. Last year, we developed the prototype of what we call as the GAFT, which stands for Gyroscopic Axial Flux Turbine Technology, which has application not only for small wind turbines, but also has applications in tidal and hydro turbines. The GAFT, to give you a, a brief technical summary of the design, replaced the basic design of a cylindrical motor into an axial flux turbine, which helps in space utilization of energy conversion devices, along with high efficiency due to its unique design. The GAFT, the status of on brushless, and we have value engineered it, the turbine, so that the twin gyroscopic disc helps in harnessing power from inertia as well. The small wind turbine prototype was selected as one of the top 20 clean tech innovations in India last year by the Global Clean Tech Innovation Program, which is jointly organized by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, the Clean Tech Open, which is the world's largest clean tech accelerator based out of Silicon Valley and the Ministry of MSME, Government of India. We were also selected this year to be showcased at the Rashtrapati Bhavan, the Indian Presidential Palace, as part of the Festival of Innovations organized by the National Innovation Foundation. And just as the MC was saying, we also became the only Indian renewable energy company that was selected and invited to be showcased at the seventh Clean Energy Ministry at San Francisco. Now, all of these are publicly known about our startup. But what is unknown is a difficult, lon lonely journey that we had to go through before all this started happening. We began our startup last year with acute resource limitations of all kinds imaginable. And though our first product is only slated to be launched in this coming new year, the amazing distance and traction we have covered in just over a year is perhaps not what even many established companies could do probably in about 10 or 20 years. Just to give you a very brief mention of what that is here, here are some facts and figures for you. We have now product buyer registrations from across more than 50 plus countries worldwide. Product dealership distribution applications from over 600 dealers across the world, ranging from individual entrepreneurs to very large organizations. Product registrations from over 2,000 plus buyers across the world, which includes over 300 plus B2B commercial clients. And finally, we were a startup, remember, with, which had no investment offers or opportunities for the first year of our operation. But now we have over 250 plus investment offers coming from inspired and passionate individuals who believe in our social cause, by other entrepreneurs, by other companies, and angel and VC funds from India and Silicon Valley. Now you might think that we must have done such a very intensive uh, sales and marketing campaign to get all this. Well, the truth is, the total amount of money we have spent for all this is zero in terms of marketing. What it shows, on the other hand, is that if your cause is the right one, if your commitment is the right one and sustainable, the results will follow. It also shows the tremendous opportunities that are lying ahead of us to help solve some of the most pressing social infrastructure challenges in our society, nation, and our world. Amongst this, lack of access to clean and affordable energy is one of the topmost priorities. It is because energy is a key to sustain our modern life and world. If we take electricity out of the 21st century, imagine what happens. It can instantly take our modern world back to the stage we were hundreds of years ago before electricity was invented. So how did an Indian small startup manage to garner all this in a very short period? And how did William from Africa manage to do what he did? We, when we began, we had no investors, no mentors, no startup support. Because we didn't fit or meet the minimum requirements for any of that according to the standard criteria laid out by those systems. Yet, None of that stopped us from staying on, determined, very thinly bootstrapped by ourselves, and going ahead nevertheless with what we were determined and convinced to accomplish. It is purely because we had the vision, 
boldness and self conviction none of which which can be taught by the world's best startup incubators or the world's best mentors it is this vision passion self belief hard work commitment sacrifices and endurance that any anybody or any startup will require if they want to make it above all you need a cause that inspires you because even if everything else such as startup support or funding is not available in the initial stages it is this power of your will that can tower above all hard adversities around you it is this power of aham brahmasmi which our ancient vedas has taught us that we need to look into our own deep inner self to help raise us above all external deficiencies drawing strength and inspiration from our own inner self is like drawing water from a well it replenishes itself like an akshaya patra or an automatically refilling food plate if you may for those uninitiated so what i would like to share with you today is listen to your own inner self it is your greatest resident teacher residing right within yourself go find your inspiration to do things that are truly meaningful and truly valuable to our society nation and our world which crucially includes also all the speechless living beings and our fragile economy ecology if non engineers like us and william can do what we did think of the endless possibilities all you trained engineers seated here today can do and across our country we have hundreds of thousands of engineers passing out of hundreds of institutions in india but we all know what is the real percentage of them actually engaging in anything that can transform into something that is useful for tackling some of the most drastic social infrastructure challenges that our country today is still reeling from so my earnest and sincere appeal to all of you talented engineers present here today and across our country is first of all to value your learned skills and rather than spending away those good skills in things that essentially have no ability to uplift our society such as excuse me developing random video games or apps or merely duplicating some western it products that may make you some quick buck bucks instead your valuable skills is to be channelized to develop clean technologies and other solutions that are essential for our nation some of the biggest problems as you all know are air pollution soil pollution water pollution lack of clean affordable energy toxic pesticide food carbon emitting transportation urban waste management climate change the list is endless but so are the possibilities and opportunities to help solve them when you think of starting a startup don't think which is the easiest business to get into which will make you the most money in the shortest time with the quickest exit but think of what can help make a world better and sustainable which coincidentally can also help make you a lot of money if you don't mind as a cherry on top trust me there's a tremendous financial opportunity in that too besides the great social impact when you help solve societies and world's social infrastructure issues so in this gandhi jayanti what i would like to tell you in conclusion is that let us once again follow some of the great messages of mahatma gandhi such as developing swadeshi solutions achieving cleanliness achieving self sufficiency and more let us create sustainable solutions that are clean and affordable that can uplift millions of our population out of poverty and out of social hardships the responsibility to fix what is wrong in a society and in a world now lies in the shoulders of your young generation our great nation india and our world need your help to help bring that change and accelerate our 21st century into a truly modern world just as our great mahatma has said be the change you wish to see in our world try if you can take that as your personal challenge just as we at avanga innovations is now trying to do
थैंक यू एवरीवन धन्यवाद